what's up? I am going back to where it all started from. With you know the demo, yeah. Gotta go for my second stress test in a month. Um, this is a different one. I don't know the difference between them. The one that I took about a couple of weeks ago was when you get on a treadmill and then they do an echo of your heart to make sure everything is functioning okay. This one is different. I'm not sure of how they do it, but this one is different. So um, I know that they put some liquid in your body and then they look at something, but I'm gonna see if I can vlog it so you guys can see. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm a little nervous. The last one turned out okay, but you know, it's still, you get nervous every time you go into the hospital for anything. So this has been one of those things that has always kept me on my toes, but I'm always nervous about. But let's do it. This is St. Joseph's Hospital. So I'll continue this when I get inside. <sighs> Gotta follow the red heart sign. Do you want me to go over what I'm gonna do, or do you feel pretty comfortable? Well, I want you to go over. Okay, so I'm gonna go to four spots on your chest. We'll kind of mm -hmm. see how your heart's squeezing in there, how those valves are working, and okay. then how the blood's kind of flowing through. Take okay. 80 to 100 pictures or so. Okay. So this isn't as strenuous as the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, other, the stress test is kind of actually stressful. This one. <laughs> to meet them. <laughs> kind of sounds like a washing machine. Yeah, it does. Yep. Almost done. Almost done. I got to get an IV because they have to put this fluid in me to see a little better. But other than that, almost, almost done. I'm all done. Leaving the premises now. I can't say everything went well. We did have a little hiccup, but we, you know, I had to get two IVs because the pictures wouldn't come up correctly. So we had to do that. But other than that, we all good. So that's done. I don't know the results yet. I'll find that out when my doctor gets them. So that's that. Oh, I made it back to the car. Now I'm gonna head home. But, uh, there's something I want to touch on. Um, there is a YouTuber that, uh, you know, also was 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 dealing with a a heart issue. Um, on their stream, I actually said, "Has the heart, my dude," and he responded, 
and he said he's he's doing well. Said how's the heart, my dude? My shit, my shit straight now. It's kind of going through the motions. We still got a little ways to go, but my shit getting there, you know. What I mean? But he was he is sick of people asking him and 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 talking about it. And I wanted to reach out to him and tell him, you know, I've been there. I know what you're going through. Um, but what you're going through is a possibility of having surgery. I went through the surgery. So I had people, because of the way my surgery was, I had people that actually thought I was, I was dead. So, um, I had to think of that, uh, I had to take care of that aspect of everything, but I wanted to let you know that, yeah, people are going to ask you because they're concerned, you know, and they want to try to make you feel better with your situation. I reached out to you, and the reason why is because I knew what you was about to deal with, and although it's a different heart issue than what I had, it's still heart surgery, you know, and I wanted to to comfort you in a way that, you know, your your life isn't over. Don't look at it that way just because you have to possibly go through heart surgery. Um, and that was the basis of my vlog is to show that just because you have those type of medical conditions, which mine is leaning more toward the stroke that I had, um, but the same thing, you know, I don't want you to to tense up and be like, I don't want anybody asking me, you know, I'm tired of talking about it. No, don't 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 be that way. I understand where you're coming from, but don't be that way. You know, uh, take it with stride because people are, are asking because they care. You know, me, I was asking because I know what it is to go through it, you know. So this is why I was reaching out to you. Um you know, I know it's it's bothering you and you want, want people to stop. You know, I, I understand that. But at the same time, you know, you gotta you gotta roll with it because you don't stress yourself out because people are asking. You know, um it is what it is though, man. I hope I hope nothing but the best for you. Um you know, and I'm I'm gonna keep doing what I do. To make, to educate people um, about the difference, you know, the things that you, that happens when you have heart condition and you you battle stroke and things like that. Um, but that's my goal, you know. But I'm not showing the workouts anymore because it's it becomes repetitive, and I know people know I can work out. It's just you know I'm just gonna show life now. Um, beyond that, you know, um, there's still things I can't do. I still have the right leg issue, but I'm good, you know, and people ask me all the time, how am I doing and this and that, and I'm, I'm good, you know, um, I just roll with it, but, um, yeah, that's to, uh, uh, that message goes out to who is Ken, um, Ken Walker, uh, you know, love you. I love your content. Keep doing you, man. You know, and I'm I'm here watching. You know, if you ever want to reach out and talk about some of the issues, I I'm I'm open. You know, I'll talk to you, my man. You know, because like I said, I follow you and I even follow you on the stream. So. I'm the can rap, unlocking your chain of thought. My album is as valuable as that chain you bought. I talk the talk of a scholar and walk the walk of a rock.